I'm going to go back just a little bit. Um, I know you've addressed this before, but for anyone watching who doesn't know, how did you guys meet? Like when, when did this, you know, happen this moment? See, last time we got asked this question, you answered it. Oh, so I'm like going to I'm answer it this time. Okay, go for Is it. Is that okay? Uh, sure, go for Is it. All right? just, just make sure you tell the truth. <laughs> I Look, I, I am, <laughs> Johnny, I am a firm, uh, I subscribe to the, the, the age-old quote from, from Phineas Taylor Barnum, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Sure. Uh, yeah. uh, so we met uh, in doing stand-up comedy in New York. We just mm-hmm. uh, met through a comedian friend of ours, and so we knew each other kind of casually, but then our comedian, our mutual friend, uh, wanted to start a podcast and asked uh, Adam and I to uh, be involved with that. And we spent, I want to say, a couple years, two years, two years uh, working on that. And then uh, we realized that uh, as we were trying to promote the show, uh, Adam was like, "Adam's the he's he's the mastermind. I'm he is the cake, and I am the frosting. I don't know if you figured that out." Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's much like a NFL booth, you know, you have, you know, I play a guy in the color commentary. Yeah. You guys are kind of both though. That's true. We switch off depending on the content. It depends. It yeah, really it depends. depends. Yeah. Uh, but we, uh, Adam realized like, oh, there are people that are uh, watching trailers online because our podcast was kind of a podcast version of reaction content. We have comedians on and we watch the most recent movie trailers and then just you know, riff and tell jokes and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but then uh, we realized that there's like all this YouTube stuff. Hey, we can make some YouTube videos to promote the podcast because it's kind of a similar, it might be similar people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, we, Adam and I realized that we really liked doing the videos more than the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the podcast, uh, it, we just kind of went our separate ways. It just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't it what fizzled. we wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. The energy behind it fizzled. As and we're like, some things do. Oh, but we're still going to make the YouTube videos because, you know, Black Panther it has a trailer this week and we're planning on doing They're like, yeah, it's fine. Like, go ahead. And then yeah. that was the, for me, the Black Panther trailer was the one where I was like, oh, we're like, okay. People like this stuff. Yeah. Keep doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's um, been interesting because we promote ourselves as like internet best friends, but we're still like enemies. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But we're that still getting to know each other on like, we're still very good friends, but like, it's fun. It's been fun getting to know you through this. Well, we've only known each other for seven years, seven years. Yeah. Wow. Like people think either one, we are dating. Yeah. Uh, two, uh, we've known each other for an extremely long time. No. And Fair. the answer to both those questions is no. Uh, we've only known each other for <laughs> seven years. Wow, that's incredible. Only seven years. You guys have yeah. such great chemistry. Is it? Is that something you felt instantly? Or is this kind of like a Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours kind of thing where you guys really honed it over time? 1,000 hours. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when we were introduced by our friend, our mutual friend, he said, you guys are either be best friends or enemies. And he <laughs> said, he goes, uh, Adam, Jay likes The Dark Knight Returns. Or yeah. the Dark Knight. The Dark and I, go, I like the Dark Knight. And it was off to the races. But because it was weird that he didn't like the Dark Knight. He didn't like the Dark That's Knight. That's the, like, he doesn't like that it. should have been a sign. Mm-hmm. That's but, strange. Who doesn't like right. the Dark Knight? Thank you. I, Thank you. Were you guys, you know, before you did this, did you, because I'm like this, um, you kind of like talk during movies and TV shows when watching with friends, like not in a theater, but like with friends, like kind of doing bits, making jokes, or oh, is that yeah. something you just kind of save for camera? Oh, no, I was raised by someone who did that. Okay. My, my dad would uh, either call out what was about to happen. Oh, you know, make a guess about, you know, what's going to happen in the okay. future. Or not so much like a, a comment, about, a joke about it, but like a reaction to the thing that just happened in a funny way. Yeah. Um, but honestly, like, it's Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that is what, and I grew up on that too. I was actually living in Minneapolis when it was on public access, and so like I like I've been obsessed with that show forever. But yeah, I I talk during movies all the time. My, my one of my best friends in the entire world that I've known since college is a no talking at the movie people, and it almost ruined our friendship because like <laughs> I would be making goofs and stuff, and he'd be like, "You have got to knock it off," and I was like. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Did I not just make this movie better? I think I made this movie better. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are some movies where it's a bad movie that you need to, yes. you need to make it fun for yourself yes. to talk during it. But like, it was always like, whisper, whisper, whisper. Yeah. Right? Oh, that guy's so totally bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, but not like, not super out loud, unless the movie called for it, like Cats. Cats, which Cats, small side tangent, sorry, t- Cats was Please. the last movie Jay and I saw in theaters before the <laughs> pandemic. I keep forgetting no. it on my birthday. No. Yeah, because it's like, hey, you know what? Let's go have a fun, because at that point, it's been out three weeks, two or three weeks, and everyone was like, this is a bad movie. This is really bad. You gotta go see it. It's so bad. So we figured it was going to be a movie that would have people like laughing at it and not with it. And boy, oh boy, did it, it was great. It was one of the best movie going experiences I've ever really had. The movie's fun. horrible. It's long and it's yes. super boring. Yes. But we got very lucky. And the, uh, the New Year's Day crowd was game to rip it apart. Because <laughs> like as soon as, what was it, after the first song, when everything's like, this can't actually be the movie, right? Oh, yeah. Right. No, it was when, okay. It was, everyone was quiet and trying to be respectful until the, the one of the cats looks into the camera and goes, let's go meet Buster for Jones. <laughs> and some girl in the crowd just goes, no. <laughs> and then everyone <laughs> lost it. Amazing. It was the best. 